There's been a lot of interest in green roofs recently and we've done quite a few at the Trust. This is probably the best one we've done. I'm really pleased with it. Um, it's on the roof of an old shipping container, so it's uh, recycling um, in more ways than one. Uh, the materials up here are recycled as well, crushed brick, and uh, the planting is a really interesting mix of drought tolerant perennials and um, native plants which encourage wildlife. Green roofs are useful in many ways. Firstly, they displace the habitat that was lost when a building was put on the ground, lifts it up and plants and animals and particularly birds can still use it. They provide a degree of insulation and protection to the building. But in terms of a rain garden, they are absolutely critical to the whole process because the roof's the bit that captures the water in the first place. The green roof is the first stage of trying to soak up that water and absorb it rather than let it go straight down the drain. A certain amount of the water that falls on this roof is transpired straight back into the atmosphere from the plants that are growing there, especially in the summer. The rest of the water soaks in like a sponge, so the building has to be strong enough to resist the weight of that, and so it's not for every situation. You need to be sure that whatever you build your green roof on is structurally sound. The water is then released over time and it drips rather than all coming off in one pulse, which again spreads out the flood events and smooths the release of water into the drains. Or here, at the London Wetland Centre, it's actually going down into a series of rain gardens, which do exactly what this does at ground level. They soak up and absorb the water, release some back to the atmosphere, and only gradually does the water move through the system. Here at London, the pools that this drains into are quite large, but you can do this on a small scale. You can even use a small sink at the bottom of your downpipe, which has plants in it, and temporarily stores the water before releasing it and overflowing. When people talk about green roofs, they often talk about grass roofs, and you can just use grass. Um, we've done a number of bird hides with meadow turf, which is, you know, a nice, um, disguise for the bird hide. Other roofs can be made out of um, sedums and they're great because they're drought tolerant and, uh, and they look good all year round. Um, this roof is probably the most attractive of all. It looks stunning in the summer when you can see all the herbaceous perennials towering up and arching over and even now I can see some grasses, there's some stipe tenuissima there looking really beautiful in mid-February. You can use gaura which has a long flowering period Oregonum, all sorts of things, particularly things that tolerate drought um, and being baked in the sun. Because basically, this can be a beautiful contribution to your garden.